good afternoon sir good afternoon how are you we are good sir how are you good uh so we'll begin with a kind of interaction um here we have a man who of course needs no introduction if i have to be a little dramatic in kanami kafi um so so post uh, we all know lucky ali uh, post 2000s and uh, after a few songs but we would really like to know who was lucky ali before uh, being known as such before rising to stardom could you please share your journey towards uh, towards the stardom towards it yes um, i was always lucky ali i mean when i was born my dad gave me that name so uh, my real name is maksud maksud mam ali after my father uh, but uh, when i was born apparently my father made his first breakthrough in cinema so he just so he called me lucky so that's how i got my name Uh, so we often see you away from city lights uh, i guess like even currently uh, you are often seen disconnected with the urban life and close to nature farm animals uh, could you share about more about your interest uh, in farming and other nature things yeah we grew up on a farm actually i uh, went to boarding school in masuri uh, when in, um, in 1961 the end of 1961 um since then i've been up in the hills and then uh, i'd come back from my holidays and then uh, when i was 11 years old my father shifted all of us back to uh, to bangalore where we live on a farm even now so um, i'm kind of used to that um, environment uh, kind of a open environment so uh, i choose to uh, i mean gives me a lot of peace the the urban uh, aspect of life is very uh, what you call is confusing for me i find that um uh, burdensome and um, yeah nature has its own stories and uh, i mean it invites you if you really want to get there so i prefer living out on the farm and you know staying away from the city and you know, that kind of stuff it helps me do my work helps me to ideate um put down new thoughts it's express thoughts you know okay uh, we have also heard you have got some interesting um, unusual animals at your farm is that true or uh, what are they yeah we, we used to have lots of unusual animals on the farm beginning with meat uh, so <laughs> we had camels and emus and um, uh, we had ducks different kinds of uh, chickens and uh, different kinds of birds and stuff like that uh, but as urbanization you know started happening um, in bangalore because i'm in i'm from bangalore so i realized that it was difficult to maintain the animals on farm so uh, we do have quite a few still we have lots of dogs and lots of sheep and uh, we have ducks chickens stuff like that and then there's natural uh, fauna like peak Talks. There are about 120 different species of birds on the farm. So, uh, and we live on a lake. So, you have a lot of uh, what you call migratory birds, you know, from Siberia and stuff like that. Yeah. So, they come to nest there, and you know. So yeah, it's pretty active in that in that aspect. Okay, so uh, what would be your other interests apart from uh, music? And I see uh, farming is is a huge inclination apart from that. Farming, these are all serious hobbies. I don't think I have an actual profession as such. Um, I just deal with whatever is there that I am presented with. Uh, in my case, um, I like to travel a lot. Um, I like to go to different places and. Um, generally chill i mean i i don't like to um uh, what do you call the right word would be i don't like to slog you know understand i mean like do my work easily so i can understand whatever i'm doing so um uh, it's kind of unusual but that's how it is um so it's kind of intriguing me when we go to road trips or when we go to out to travel we usually listen your songs uh, we would like to know who do you listen to i beg your pardon could you say that again um when we Could go out again i didn't hear you 
yeah so when we go out on road trips we usually listen to your songs uh, what do you go on road trips i just yes, sleep okay uh, we would like to know who do you listen to yeah. when you basically uh, when i'm out on road trips i i just like keep my window open and i like to watch whatever's going by and uh, uh generally stop at a dhaba maybe or uh, have chai or whatever and uh, i like i like i like to go to interesting places like up to the mountains or drive down to goa and it's always the i take the not the regular route i go by um, route that's more scenic so that's how i um i mean i'm used to that so i maintain that mm-hmm. otherwise when you're traveling when you when you like you have to go abroad or something or when you have to go some place you take a a flight or whatever but i prefer a road trip always as compared to you know yeah uh, upon that year recently on i think on uh, 4th of december there was this nh7 uh, weekend event how was your experience there how was the audience uh, could you tell about that there was no audience this was directed by my son towers Yeah. and uh yeah and uh, we were just just got the musicians together the nh7 people felt that you know uh, we, they have to promote the idea of, because musicians today um post covid are quite uh, uh, what do you call stricken with this this whole thing because uh, there's no recordings going on no concerts and you know stuff like that but um yeah and uh, what we did was we came down to goa with all the equipment set it up had a few cameras just shot it and uh, just to test the waters as to how it would be now from now on you know because uh, i think it would be um, to have lots and lots of people in a crowd and in a concert is uh, something that we enjoyed but i don't think we will enjoy that again you know because, um the distancing you know but yeah uh it was beautiful i mean i was playing with my band after a whole year so it was just we didn't even practice we just got back to just doing whatever we would do you know? okay uh so so you um, i think most of us will relate to this your voice is so young that it makes it it instantly connects with all of us uh, mostly all the youth so uh, we'd like to know how was your youth like would you like to share some of the incidents or some mischief or whatever you remember from uh, that time yeah i was very inquisitive i always wanted to know more than what was presented so like uh, for example um, in boarding school i was very small so i saw a bee go into a a wall so i stuck my eye to see where it went um, it was a wasp and it stung me on my eye on my left eye but then i was not satisfied so look with the other eye and another one stung me on the other. so i had two big um, so it's just like you want to know more than what is actually presented to you you know um, so that's my nature i like to um, um, get into uh, something to if, if if it interests me to really understand what it is about why how you know all those things so uh also sir there's this one thing that i think uh, a lot of people a lot of youth people are facing uh, these days we often tend to lose ourselves we just get disconnected with our interest our passion and just go on following herds following like herds so uh, what do you do or how do you uh, keep connected with yourself or how would you want people to get stay connected with yourself well um i don't know anything specific as such i just i just uh, i i don't belong in a crowd i feel that when uh, the masses are going a particular way um if it doesn't make sense to me i probably just stand and watch or turn the other way and take the other direction you know and uh, seek my path there and uh, i felt that it's worked for me uh, because you look at things in different perspective and what the general idea um, uh, prevails or whatever or whatever you've been told i like to look at it from a different perspective and um, make my uh, make my thoughts up or make my uh, 
journey accordingly you know but um yeah so lots of people do it lots of people do it i mean uh, i'm probably uh, someone who's uh, in the field so you get but there are lots of great people out there i mean you don't even see them who are great artists and great musicians and you know so yeah it's yeah, it's about that basically Uh, so we notice that you have a kind of calm and composed uh, way of composure so whether it is in your song or the way you talk uh, so were you always this calm and sorted or were you also mischievous and rugged like most of i was very mischievous i would say when i at that age of mine i mean at your age probably i was more adventurous and uh, i could do things that um, um, that probably be looked down upon in, in family situations like you know um just take the other road or whatever but um as you grow older and uh when things start you know connecting with each other then you start realizing that uh you know what makes sense what what you keep what you let go you know and it's it's about living and learning and it's um and then applying what you learn you know in your own life and uh, yeah okay uh, so just in case like um, if it wasn't for music what would what could have been your alternate career or uh, alternate passion if you have to say i don't know uh, what i would do uh, i think i was just cut out for this i mean i was born into this family i didn't choose my birth so i was born to the situation i wanted to be in the navy i wanted to be in the air force i wanted to be in uh, but then uh, our direction was cinema family direction so my training was um, my exposure was towards that of course i mean um, i pursued my passion like flying and stuff like that so i got about 45 hours of uh, flying experience and uh, stuff like that and uh yeah i read a lot or i used to read a lot and um generally also i uh, i uh, pay a lot of attention to uh, uh innovation into uh ideas that we still don't hold on to i even look back at things that we've left behind and i feel that we should inculcate them to have a more complete you know existence right now i feel that we study um i mean the systems are such that you study so in order in order that you can get a job to serve a system you understand what i mean of things then like for me that um i could never hold a job behind a desk so um i tried but it just didn't work for me so um, yeah i feel you need to unclutter things make it more simple and uh uh you should have a choice in what you want to learn whether it's um i wish i had a, uh in school i wish there would be a a class for carpentry or a class for uh, music alone or you, you understand what i'm saying but we had yes. physics maths and we had yeah. biology this and that um uh, i'm not saying that's not good what i'm saying is that then we are uh, they choose as to where we fit and then that's what you work towards and you get a degree and then the corporates come and get you and pick you out from where you, wherever you are and then you're just doing that that thing but now post covid i don't know how it's going to be because it's changed you yeah. know uh, it is going to be different no doubt so i've also heard you have an interest in astronomy or uh, stars and space is that true of course wouldn't you i mean there's so much out there we hardly look out at the sky there's so many things to see even um sometimes at night you know or i like to gaze out and i like to see star systems and um you get to see lots of phenomena and uh, you know that's generally how it is also uh, what do you like to read uh, like you just said that uh, you spend a lot of time reading also so what are those things that intrigue you well, not fiction i don't like to read fiction 
I either like to read history or um, uh, non-fictional stuff like, um, like um, uh, for example, I read Lyle Watson's uh, History of the Wind. You know, how winds come and, you know, how uh, civilizations change uh, through uh, how the wind was, you know, how, what it brought along and what it takes with you and, you know, that was one. Then, uh, then there was uh, Deep Time, I think it was about um, uh, the, the study of an atom, what, what would happen to an atom in, in travel. So these kind of things intrigue me because they are unusual, you know. It's not the usual, um, uh, what do you call, uh, things that generally uh, you, know, you get into or you know, children get into. But now, nowadays it's different because, I mean, there's so much of um, interaction on the net. There's so much of technology that you can play with. I play with technology a lot, musically. You know, so for me, it um, it's good. I mean, it's good. Yeah, I'm not complaining. Uh, so for uh, the current generation that is mostly lost in the social media or uh, in different uh, other things that are kind of distractions or maybe not exactly, uh, kind of they lose themselves. So uh, also talking about the uncluttering. So how do you actually unclutter yourself or how do you direct yourself? self as a message to youth? Well, basically, um, I feel you will go through that and then you will come to a point where it doesn't make sense to you. Everybody goes through that journey. And um, you will uh, leave behind what you don't like, what doesn't agree with you. You will take forward what you like and, you know, make that not a part of your uh, expression. So there's... Um, extremes in all places what what i believe is that you try to come on to the middle part you know there's this and there's that but try to strike a balance between whatever's around there there's so many responsibilities a person could have um whether it's family responsibilities or whether it's work responsibilities so if you can balance them out you know it's uh, it's a bit of a it's a bit tricky you know when you're growing up and you lose patience and Many of the children kind of like probably get um, uh, what we call uh, depressed about this and you know yeah. dealing uh, peer pressure and stuff like that. So my thing to uh, kids of today or any time was if you didn't fall, you won't get up. So it's good to fall and not look at it as um, what you call as something debilitating or as something that. That's the worst thing in life. You have to fall in order to get up and strive to move, move ahead and make something out of that. And that's what I call, you know, growth. Right. I think that's a message to uh, almost all the people here. Um, also, sir, uh, just uh, with this, I'll take you in. Uh, what is your perception of impermanence? Impermanence, that is a the theme of uh, TEDx uh, in MMS Hyderabad right now. How do you perceive impermanence in things around you in life? Well, nothing is forever in, in that sense. Like, I mean, you have parents and then you don't have parents. You know. um, nature changes, trees grow, trees become old, they fall down, you know, but it gives way to new, new growth. You know, so there's always a a continuum of uh, of whatever it is, whether it is life or whether it is, uh, but there's a continuous thing. But we as individuals are not there permanently. Um, so you don't really, once you've done your 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 bit in this place and then you move on, someone, there's someone behind you who's taking it to the next level, or, you know, so it's just a growth. So impermanence is, it's there, but there's also continuation, you know? Evolving. Yeah, there's a continuation of, of things, of ideas, of thoughts, of, of ways of life, you know? So. Yeah. 
also so there are a lot of people who are sending me in private if you could hum a few lines um if that is possible okay what do you want me to do <laughs> oh, uh, what do you want me to say um uh, anything that not can... also but that's i've sung over some like about 30 40 times already during the week so i'll sing another song for you yes um, please hmm अनजाने राहों में तू क्या ढूंढता फिरे दूर जिसको समझा वो तो पास है तेरे सांस में हवा जान में जमी दिल में खुला आसमा प्यार है खुदा प्यार है खुशी प्यार से है दोनों जहां तेरा ये आशियाना मेरा भी आशियाना तो अनजाने रहो में तू क्या ढूंढता फिर दूर जिसको समझा वो तो पास है तेरे मीन्स डोंट गो लुकिंग आउट when it's there it's there look within yourself internalize and you'll find what you're looking for and don't get scared nothing to get scared of you know everything is a learning everything is a learning thank you so much sir um there's no exaggeration into it but we have all been looking up to you since years and uh, it's such a pleasure to have you grace our event there were a lot of people who were constantly waiting for you thank you so much for this and uh, thank thank you children for like waiting for me i mean i hope i've answered your question i know there's lots that you want to ask me and there's lots i could tell you but time restraints and whatever but for as long as life is there we'll keep communicating yes sir we'll keep knowing you through different platforms and guys you can continue thank you so thank much thank you so much yeah thank you so much sir thank you so much sir thank, thank you, you sir so thank you sir